Also, you may think that chili cheese fries wouldn't be on a 75 hard diet, but again, the diet is what you make it. Good morning, y'all. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I've got my St. Patrick's shirt on. I am Irish-ish. <laughs> I've always loved this shirt. So today I'm going to be making a different breakfast. Instead of oatmeal and cereal, I'm going to be making uh, peanut butter toast. And these are the ingredients I will be using. I'm going to be using this delightful 45 calorie honey wheat bread. And what I like about this is each slice is 45 calories, so 90 calories for two, which is awesome. Uh, for my peanut butter, I'm gonna be using the PB Fit powder. So you have to mix it with water. For a serving of this, it's only 60 calories. So the taste is great. It tastes just like you're eating peanuts right out of a can. It just doesn't have the extra added oils and sugar like peanut butter does. So, very tasty. For my jelly, I am using the Smucker's Sugar-Free Strawberry Preserves. The taste, there is a slight difference, but it's not a huge difference where it's gonna gross you out. Be like, ugh. Um, but honestly, y'all, the more you start eating healthier foods, and it's funny, my dad and I were just talking about this kind of stuff this morning, um, like he doesn't add salt to his foods anymore. And you, over time, like you start to acquire that new taste. Like he said, he doesn't need to put salt in food anymore. The healthier foods, you will acquire a taste for it. Right, that's enough rambling. So I'm gonna be making a two peanut butter and jelly toast. And um, I'm going to be doing the serving size of each of these. So, Sorry, I don't have my glasses on, my reading glasses. I call them my granny glasses because they look like granny. They look like something granny would wear. I got them from the dollar store. All right, so serving size is two tablespoons. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put a tablespoon on each piece of bread. And then the serving size is one tablespoon. So I might end up having to use two tablespoons, one on each slice. So 60 calories, 10 calories. 90 calories, can't go wrong. Um, I'm also gonna add some yogurt on the side. Y'all know I love my yogurt. This is the easiest way to get protein in y'all. If you need more protein, stock up on yogurt. <laughs> Especially the light and fit, it's low in calorie. There's several options out there that are low in calorie, but I really like these. Okay, and they're not too expensive either. All right, here we go. Peanut butter and jelly. So I'm going to take out my two slices. Y'all ever have a hard time I'm twisting the bread? Okay, I guess I can take these off. All right. Grab out two slices. I'm gonna spray just a little bit of um, zero calorie butter spray on them just to help them get nice and toasty. I don't spray a lot because even though it says zero calories, um, Things like this still tend to have some calories. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go throw these in the toaster and I will be right back. While my bread is toasting, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out. It is 16 grams of peanut butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out on my scale. Yeah, I've always heard it's better to go by the grams um, when you are measuring out your food than just going by, um, like if you were to use where it says two tablespoons is 16 grams. I've always heard it's better to weigh it than to go by the number of tablespoons. There was an article I read about that. It's, it's more accurate by going by the uh, weight of it. Okay. So there's 16 grams, I was about to say 16 tablespoons. That would be a lot. <laughs> All right, so here it is, it's powder. And what you do is you add water to it. 
Now you want to go slow because there's nothing worse than soupy peanut butter, unless you like that, but I don't like that. I like thick, creamy peanut butter. So you just add it slowly and stir. You can see it's still kind of powdery right now, so I just need to keep adding more until it gets thick. Thought I almost made it too soupy there. It, it, it doesn't take long. My hubby's trying to call me. I'll have to call him back. All right, I'm back. Okay, so here is the peanut butter. So nice and thick and creamy. All right, I'm gonna get my toast out of the oven. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on each one. What I've always wished is like when you're mixing stuff in a container and then you're trying to like scoop it out. I wish you could just scoop it all out, but I hate when there's like stuff left because that's protein, you know? It's like, ugh. so I always try to get it all out even though I know I can't, but I guess I could use my finger, but I don't want to get peanut butter all over my finger. Okay. I used to make my own homemade peanut butter I just used to take peanuts and put them in a blender and just kept blending until they got smooth. Um, but I don't remember, I don't remember what the calories are for like just regular peanuts and making your own. I'm still thinking this might be lower in calorie because they take out a lot of the oils and of course no sugar. So it just says peanut flour and monk fruit, a monk fruit blend. So monk fruit is a healthier form of sweetener. And we use that too to sweeten some of our things. So it does have sugar, but it's healthy, zero calorie sweetener. Um, but it still doesn't taste as sweet as regular peanut butter, but it's good. All right, so I got out what I could. So now I'm just gonna spread it. You'll see. Yep. I'm just going to spread the peanut butter on my toast. It smells so good. I love peanut butter toast. <laughs> okay. I haven't eaten it in a while, but I've always loved it. All right. Let me clean this off. All right, so the serving size is 17 grams. So I'm gonna put 17 grams, I think on each piece. I'll see what it looks like. Might be a lot. No. All right, that's 17 grams. That's not too bad. It's not too much. All right. So now it needs to say, what, 34? I didn't tear it, so. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna smear that on. Now my favorite jelly of all time is grape, but, oh no, I always make a mess when I'm cooking. I know a lot of you do too. Um, grape is my favorite, but I don't remember seeing grape preserves, sugar, I know they have sugar-free grape jelly, but I don't remember seeing it in preserves. They might have it. I've seen the peach and coarse strawberry, but I don't know about grape. All right, y'all, here is my lovely peanut butter toast. 
And so I will put the calories and the protein in the description box below. And I'm going to now enjoy my toast. Y'all, I can't tell the difference between unhealthy preserves and uh, peanut butter compared to the healthy stuff. Mm. It's good. This is why I can still eat what I want while I'm doing 75 hard. I try to find, sorry for talking with my mouth full. I try to find alternatives when I can for the foods that I love. Um, foods that are lower in calorie because I still want to enjoy food. Like, I love food. I love to eat. And so, I try to do what I can and cut where I can, but still enjoy what I'm eating, if that makes sense. All right, y'all. I'm going to go finish this because I got to head to the gym soon. So, I'll see y'all at the gym. Bye. Now we're getting ready to go on our walk. It is beautiful right now. It's not super cold. It's in the low 60s. It's a little chilly, but it's not super cold. I'm still wearing my marshmallow jacket because it keeps me warm. And my hubby just loves this jacket, don't you? You gotta say it louder. No, I hate it. <laughs> Why do you hate this jacket? It looks terrible. Well, I've gotten a couple compliments on it, so. Anyways, no hunchback today? I've always got a hunchback. <laughs> well, you don't look like a hunchback in Notre Dame today. Hey y'all, we're almost done with our walk. Um, the sun was shining and now it's behind the clouds. It is supposed to rain later on today. So, when it comes to your outdoor workout, don't make any excuses as for why you can't do it. So if you don't want to walk out in the rain, um, check the weather ahead of time and work around it. That applies to any storms as well. <laughs> work around it. Um, think about things ahead of time. All right, we're gonna finish up our walk and I will see you in lunch. Bye. Hey y'all, it is lunch time. I'm gonna dive into these delicious fries. Mm. It's gonna be delicious. All right. See you later. These fries are good. All right, so one more thing. If you are curious as to how I made my chili cheese fries, I will put a link to the video where I made the fries. I'll put a link in the description box. So if you'd like to watch it to see how it's made, it'll be there. Also, you may think that chili cheese fries wouldn't be on a 75 hard diet but again the diet is what you make it if you want to follow a keto diet or a vegan diet or whatever diet you can choose a popular one like those or make it your own so i made mine no more than 2,000 calories and i have to get at least 100 grams of protein and so my french fries have been air fried there's no oil the chili is homemade. It's just chicken, ground chicken, and a chili sauce. And both of those were, you know, are low in calories. And then a reduced fat cheese and a zero calorie ranch dressing. So it may look like it's full of calories, but really it's not. And I'll post those below so you can see what the protein is and the calories. All right, I'm gonna finish my fries. See y'all, I'm glad we went walking earlier because we keep getting like gusts of wind and it'd be really windy right now if we were out there in that. So every now and then we'll get like a huge burst of wind, like right now. <laughs>
It is very windy out there. But I don't think it's cold. It should be like in the maybe mid 60s, upper 60s. I don't know. It could even be in the 70s. I haven't been outside since this morning and I haven't checked the weather. No need since we already went on our walk. Y'all, I don't know what to do with myself. It is 7.34 and I have finished 128 ounces of water. I have finished one gallon of water way before nine o'clock. Like I have been doing for the past 16 days. I feel like shouting hallelujah, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. Like I'm done. I'm done. I can go relax on the couch and not have to worry about drinking another sip of water. I'm so tired of water. I just chugged a whole bunch trying to get it down and I almost thought I was going to gag again um, because I'm full from dinner. And two, I don't know if y'all have the same feeling, but when you're trying to drink cold water, I don't know. It just doesn't make me feel good. So I'll be all right though. The only thing I do have left is reading. I have not read today because normally I read when I go pick my daughter up from school, but uh, my dad was able to get her today because she's spending the night with my parents. And so anyways, so usually I read in the car and because I didn't pick her up, I forgot about reading. So I'm gonna go sit on the couch and go get that done. Everything else is done. Um, my calories for today, uh, it was 1,909. So that's awesome. I was pretty close to 2,000. So I could have eaten a little bit more, but I'm just going to stay under. I, I prefer to stay under 2,000 as much as possible, even though that's my limit. And then my protein, I did good on that. Uh, 118.16. So I'm done. I'm going to go read my 10 pages. And I'm going to go chill on the couch and watch some YouTube. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all.